Hi, this is Alice Cloud from the DII Service Desk. I wanted to show you today how quick and easy it can be to submit an IT service ticket through Landesk. Let's say something is broken and is not working on your IT on your computer. You can put in a Landesk ticket for something like the printer's not working or your Outlook is um, acting funny, or you have a program that uh, won't let you log on. Let's say the uh, internet connection is down, that kind of thing. You can put a Landesk ticket in. But it's also for needing to have an IT service performed. You can submit a ticket, for, let's say, to have a software upgrade, or if um, you a person needs to be added to a distribution list, or you need to have uh, access to um, create an Active Directory group. But if you, let's say you also, um, your global address uh, in the Outlook ha has some mistakes and you want those fixed, you can put in a Landesk ticket. So Landesk is used for multiple reasons, but mostly for something's broken and needs to be fixed, or I need an IT service performed. In order to get started to put a ticket in, you need to bring up an internet browser. And in the address line up at the top, you need to type in https colon two forward slashes itsupport.vermont.gov. That's all you need to put in if you're an AHS, tax, or VSMS domain, because it will auto-authenticate against your password and bring you right into the home page of Landesk. If you do not have one of those domains and you're in a different domain, you actually have to use an explicit login by typing that same address, but at the end of it, putting a slash and putting the word log on. Then another screen will come up for you to put in a username, um, which would be your email address. And it also shows a, a, an area for password, but you just don't need to put a password in and you hit enter after you put your email address in and it should bring you right into the home page of Landesk. Landesk is a secure site so you would need to um, be within the state's network so you would have to either Citrix in first or VPN in first before you bring that internet browser to be able to submit a Landesk ticket. So when you do get logged in this is the home page of Landesk just wanted to show you this as a screenshot because it does have some good information on it. So when you do get logged in, you can then go ahead and submit a request support ticket. Now I'd like to um, bring you over to the live area to show you how to do that. So you bring up an internet browser and then you type in https colon two forward slashes it support dot Dot Vermont dot gov. And again, if, if you're AHS, tax, or VSMS, you just go ahead and hit enter. If you're not, you have to put the slash and the word log on. I am VSMS, so I can just hit enter. And then I can get logged in, and it brings me right into my land desk, which actually would look like this for you. And on the left-hand side, you can submit ticket. Now, I have more than others because I have extra um, duties that I have to perform, but most everyone else would just have the support, home, request, and queries. This is your area for if something is broken out in the network or a major incident's going on, you'll see some notes across the top under the word outages. Here's your details. Here's a notice board to let you know if maintenance is happening. And then here's your tickets right here that get submitted. So I'm going to actually go to a testing site in order to show you how to submit a ticket. It will look a little bit different, but this is a, it is the, basically the same. So again, I want to put in a, a trouble ticket. Say something is broken. Okay, so I'm going to click on submit request, and it opens up a ticket. Well, the, for everybody, it's it's going to be blue instead of pink. But again, this is the testing site. If you're putting a ticket in for yourself, you do not have to fill in these top two areas. Um, but if you're putting it in for someone else, you would start typing that person's last name. And then it will come up with people who it has that spelling. So if I put that ticket in for 
another user, it will fill in the information. If I'm putting this ticket in for myself, let's, let's say I, I'm, I don't want to put it in for someone else, I don't have to fill that in, and, and it will know that I'm submitting this for myself. I'm going to put in my phone number, but if it was for someone else, you put in their phone number. And then I want to put in my physical location. Now, depending on if a tech may need to come to your desk and do some work to your computer, let's say um, it, the computer has died and it won't won't even start up, they would need to come and see you. You need the, uh, somebody else will be putting a ticket in for you, and they'll need to put in the, your actual physical location of your building, and that um, I'm on the fifth floor. And I'm in Montpelier. And you could even put a room number. And then for department, you would want to start typing the call letters of your agency. So let's say you work for DCF, you'd start typing DCF, and it gives you the divisions under DCF to choose from. If you work for a CCD, then it would type that in, and it would give you the divisions under that. I work for DII, I'm going to start typing DII, and it's going to give me all the divisions under DII to choose from. Then I'm going to go choose my division. Now, in the summary, you just want to state in you know quickly what would, is kind of wrong if it's a trouble or if it's an IT service that you need. So I'm going to say that the uh, um, printer is uh, um, down. And then you're going to want to describe what the situation is, is that um, when I print, it won't go to the printer. There seems to be a jam. Um, if this was a different kind of uh, problem, let's say the, a program was, was returning an error message, you might want to tell what the error message error, um, says, uh, is, you know, um, printer is jammed. And then sometimes you can take a screenshot of whatever the error is and be able to add that as a attachment to this mess this um, ticket or you might want to also state what kind of troubleshooting you have done to to let the technicians know that you've um, turned printer off and then back on and it didn't clear the jam, you know, that kind of thing. But if you put down what you've done to troubleshoot, that helps the technician actually know what's going on. And so again, here is an attachment that you could possibly put, do. So you click on Browse. It would bring you out to your computer where you can determine that you want to go ahead and, and say, add a spread, add the the screenshot of whatever an error message is, or you need to uh, add a spreadsheet or a Word document, you can go out there and add it. All right. And then you can also, um, below here, this is not what you need to do. The, I only need to do this because I'm an actual analyst. So um, once you're done putting all the information into the ticket that you feel should go in there, you can go ahead and send it by just hitting Save and Close. Or if you save it first, some actions will come up for you to be able to, let's say you needed to attach more than just one attachment, or you want to add a CC to be able to be part of the email stream that happens from a Landesk ticket. If you hit save instead of save and close, it will save the, the ticket and submit it. And then these actions appear where you then go, go ahead and add a CC. And I, I could add myself. Uh, or no, I I would add a coworker because I put this ticket in as myself. So I'm going to go ahead and add my coworker. And you got to make sure you spell these right, or they won't get sent to um, anyone because they don't get um, uh, spell checked or anything like that. They don't authenticate to the actual 
global address list. So I'm going to save and close that. And now my coworker is, is part of the ticket. And then I want to go ahead and hit save and close to get out of the ticket so the ticket can be worked by the service desk to be moved along to a technician. So now I'm back at my home page. And you can see that I have some tickets in. And if I click on an incident and I sort it by date, you can see that I put in a ticket that the printer is down. If I want to open it back up, I can then click on it and I can open it back up and be able to, let's say, add a note or I can look and add another CC where I can scroll around in the ticket a little bit and see that the status is still open. Um, if it's when it gets assigned, it'll show an analyst's name here. So you'll be able to see what's happening with that ticket. But then you want to make sure you always either save and close out of it or cancel out of the ticket. So that is the quick way of submitting a request support ticket uh, to tell the IT system that something is wrong, is broken, or you need a service. Thank you very much.